There was this uh, a missioning, a missionary doctor, a doc her name was Dr. Helen Rosevear, and she was a doctor in, uh, in the, a missionary doctor in the Congo. And she told the story about boys that came for supper, and one boy came for, to supper and his hands were dirty. And she told the story about boys that came for supper and one boy came to supper and then he said, but I did wash my hands. And she said, but your hands are still dirty. And his friend came closer and said, I was a witness. I saw he washed his hands. And she said to him, you might have gone to wash your hands. But it's still dirty, it's not clean. And then he asked her, but how long should I wash my hands? And she said to him, wash your hands until it is clean. So again, we have opportunity, each one of us, this evening, to cleanse ourselves. Until we are clean. And secondly, quite a few items are being picked up. If you find something or you look for something, please go to the school hall where you're registered, and you'll find that, hopefully you'll find the item there, ask them, or if you find uh, meal tickets, please take it to the school hall. school <laughs> And again, we ask the, the boys to please to remain in their, on their side and the girls on this side. Um, please do not go where they are farming. Don't go where the trees are or go into the gardens. These are all projects that um, is there for the community and we, don't, we won't... It's, Please don't disturb anything there. And then lastly, um, please switch off cell phones when you come into the auditorium, and please do not uh, charge any cell phones or the, in the auditorium um, or leave them here to be charged. And before we continue, can I ask Mr. Jan de Brain to open for us in prayer, please? Let's close our eyes and pray. Lord, thank you for this opportunity this evening.
And I pray for each one present that they have a receiveful heart. And what my brother shared, we need a cleansing of your precious blood. That's the reason you brought each one who are present here. To bring that into the light, what your precious blood will make free. And what we experience this evening, may it be for eternal value. That, that our youth prepared for the future to be a shining light. Amen. Amen. Um, next we'll ask the the youth choir to come forward and after that Miss Newlands will take the service. Youth choir, choir Miss Newlands.
handsome and no one can sing, sing out a song without end. Yours is the power, glory, honor, and praise. I will exalt you always, ruling in power, glory, through endless days. Ever your name I will raise. Merciful, faithful, redeemer, and friend, you are the one I adore. There is no other on whom I depend. Savior and Lord. Yours is the power, glory, honor, and praise. I will exalt you always, ruling in power, glory, through endless days. Ever your name I will raise. As sons and daughters we come, highest of praises we praise. Break on some condemnation. It's such a great pleasure for me that we can come together in this way in this evening. We are so many coming from the different places. But God chose you and you and all of us that we can be all here tonight. Because the Lord has the message that is straight to you. It's for you. But it will be heartbreaking if you are sitting here, the Lord will pass you by. Unfortunately, you cannot see the Lord passing you by. Many years ago, really many years ago, I think it's nearly 50 years ago. I came to my first youth conference right here at Kwasizabandu. And this auditorium didn't exist. Many of the buildings that are here now didn't exist. And we were very few. I think we were about 30 young people. And I'm still coming to the youth conference today. And 
It was at those youth conferences nearly 50 years ago that my life began to be molded so that I can serve God. Maybe I can tell you a little bit what it was like that time. Like I said, we were maybe 30, 40 young people. And nearly every service, Reverend Stegan would come and he would teach us about the Lord. And I would also take some of our services. We didn't have a sports day like sometimes we have at youth conferences. Because sometimes in the afternoons, Bam Fundisi and Anton Kulu would take us and we would play down over there. We'd play volleyball or we'd play other games. And before we played, we would pray together and say, Lord Jesus, we're going to play now. Won't you please be with us? Please be with us because you watching us. Help us that we will not sin while we are playing. And then we had special services. We called them Kronskop services. Because we went to a place here near Kronskop. And God taught us. He taught us that he sees everything that we do. And he taught us that he sees everything that we do. And that molded my life and the others who are here who remember it. We realize there's a living God. We cannot just live like we want to live because God sees us. God did many things amongst us where I remember after some services, God said, you've made your life right, but do you remember at school what your life was like. Unkulunkulu and Zogni, Ginga, Lesoskati, and Yakumbula, Ugotunkulunkulu, Lassa Slez and Gonzuen, Umum to Sasali Lepanzo, I vumizo, Noza, Quai Sambulula, Unkulunkulu, Ashok Mina, what we are Kumbula in in Gescati Usa Scolain, we are Kumbula in our Wenza Conescolain. I had woken up very early in the morning and I couldn't sleep again because I knew when I was at school. I troubled the teacher and we had a matron who looked after us because I was in a boarding school and I did not cooperate with her. 
Manja ngaleso skatu misu ubesa boarding school la efunda kona. La unkulunkul se kulume naye agapinda nga kwa zudlala. Mwomunkulunkul wati kumbula. Uguti eskolen weno ipatanga gase gutisha. Wam slupa futi na lo oben gate eskolen ngoba ube 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 shala kone eskolen. Mvawa logo agalalanga efunu etingu utaga puyele kona. I went to my father. I said, Dad, please, please, I am in fear. God is not happy with my life. Take me to that school. I need to go and apologize to the teacher. Umisu waya kubabu wake wati baba nsize anagu kutula nye saba unkulungu waka togo zile nge mpilo yami. Tela untate unsegleso skolebe nfunda kuso ni tingugio toli sakona ni olungi sakona. And my father said, do you know how far away it is? We had to travel about three hours to get there. Manja ubabu wake wabese buzu kutu ya kuyazi yinu kutu wiskati iskati ya siteganga kukuteganga ganani. Besti yungu kutu si drive ama hora matatu kiyo figa kona. But I'll take you. Wabese tikotu anzo tata. I found three of my teachers and I could go to each one and say I'm sorry for the way I lived while I was at school. Uma ubabu se mtatile wa yombega kona watolo tisha batatu, wagwazu kuti aye kutisha no tisha, ugyo koli sange mpilu wa ipili. And on the way, God reminded me of something else. Ume se njeleni, mkulunguluwa mkungu zogunye. There used to be a young Zulu girl who helped my mother in the house. Manja ngalesi skati umise kula, begu kona usisi onzundu, ebe ba legelele, legele luma wake ekai. And I hadn't treated her well. She was still a young girl. And I said, Dad, I've got to go and find that girl. Where does she live? And my father said, I'm not sure, but let's go and have a look at that place. And we still had to travel another hour. And when we got to that homestead, I was so thankful. She was there and I could go to her. And I could say, when you were in our home, I did not treat you well. I'm so sorry. God is not happy that I didn't treat you like I should have. Uma se figa glelo kaya, kizo ya mia jabula, ngoba begui kaya labe sa mtola kona. Uma nfiga guye natu ya kumbula yini, geskatu ulegelele kaya lami. Kulungulu nsoli luguti andi kupatanga gase, niya koli saga kuhu. But this is now nearly 50 years ago, young people. I can't forget it. Because when God puts his finger on something in one's life, one dare not ignore God's finger. Ngoba logwe ni nkotela kona bando basha kwenze ka imnyake nga mashuma mashanwe lula kotwa anisoze na kotwa. Ngoba umu nkulunkulwe komba uto guyena agumelu kutu nkulunkulu simkili zelekelene agumelu kutu nkulunkulu simzibe. And it was then that I developed a love for other nations and the Zulu people particularly. Kukusuge la ngaleso skatinda ya glonto mbaza nandi oto lisaguye kwa kalu kwa kega utando loktanda bandu bezi nyizizwe kakulu wabantu. It didn't worry me if we have different languages and different skin colors. Futi begu nganlupi uguti singabanda bangefani singo mshope nontundu na uguti skulmi lime zingafani na ngasholu tobe nganlupi ngadudu. And I wanted to come to Sisabantu when it was holiday time. 
I didn't want to go here and there and go to different places. I wanted to come here. I had a longing in my heart. I want to hear God's word. At the beginning, it was nearly only white children who were here. And then the Zulu parents said, Why can't our children come? And now look what God has done. We can be together. One day, I was traveling in a car. I was still really very young then, and I was with um, three, two Zulu mamas, and an, another Zulu person, and uh, somebody, I think I'm Dunkulo, I'm not sure if she was driving that vehicle. Now we heard a lot of history from Shange this afternoon. And that was in the 70s. And in the 70s, in South Africa, it was very sad. There was apartheid. And I was driving in the vehicle. We were coming from Mapumulo down past Balcombe's Hill. And we were on our way here to Sizabantu. And a car came past us. And the people in the car looked and looked and looked. And in front, as we came, they stopped us. And they came running to me. And they knocked on the window. And they said, have these people stolen you? Are you safe? And I said, no. These are my friends. These are, they haven't done anything. Anything to me, look, they my friends. What in that car, Laba Banda Benzanga, Luto, Lubig Mina, Banga, Banga, and Bamboga, and Jabandenzanga, Luto, Yabanga, and Bami Lab. They said, Are you sure? Did they tell you to say that? Baba said to Kensagil, Noma Bakchali, Luba, Oshoganja, Lucus Pendul. That's what it was like when the services and the youth conferences first started. And God is faithful. Young people, if you at these youth conference, this youth conference, give your life to the Lord Jesus and you cleanse your life, he can keep you. One day it might be you standing here testifying to what God has done. This evening, as we looking at this theme, lift Jesus higher and let's lift Jesus higher, I want to talk to you about somebody who was not ashamed of her faith. And 
And you will recognize the story about this person. Manje futhi mhlambi nizosiqonda nisikhumbule lendaba ngalomuntu. But before we read, let's pray once more. Phambo ukuthi sifunde cela sithandaze. Lord Jesus, we are going to read from your word. Kosu Jesu sesizofunda izwi lakho. Your word is not just like a novel. Kosi izwi lakho aliyona njincwadi efundwayo. It teaches us. Kosi siyacela ukuthi sifundise ngalo. It challenges us. Your word challenges us. Futhi izwi lakho nkosi liyasifundisa libe seliphonsa lintselele. Be with us now as we look at it. Kosi siyacela ukuthi ube kanye nathi njengoma sisalibuka. Amen. Amen. I want to read from the book of Esther. Thanda ukufunda encwadini ka Esther. Esther is in the Old Testament. It's after Nehemiah and just before Job. Incwadi ka Esther incwadi esemva kwencwadi ka Job ephambi kwencwadi ka Nehemiah. And I'm going to read just a few verses from chapter 4. Nizofunda amavesi amabalwa esahlukweni sesine. We reading about a young girl. Sizofunda la ngento mazanyana esencane. And we will consider her life to learn from it how we can lift the name of Jesus higher. Manje sizobukeza impilo yakhe ukuze siqonde ukuthi thina singamphakamisa kanjani uJesu. Young people, we either lift up the name of Jesus or we lift up Satan. Bantu abasha kuphakathi kokuba siphakamise igama lika Jesu okanye siphakamise usathana. There's no other choice. Akukho kunye ukukhetha phakathi kwalo kokubili. The way you and I live it is either Jesus or Satan. whose name is honored and uplifted. Indlela mina nawe ongaphila ngayo yone ngaveza ukuthi uphakamise uJesu nobe uphakamise usatan sorry miss. So let's read from Esther chapter 4. Sifunda incwadi ka Esther isahluko sesine. And we'll read from verse 14. So qala ukufunda eversini le18. For if you remain silent at this time Relief and deliverance for the Jews will arise from another place but you and your father's family will perish and who knows but that you have come to royal position for such a time as this verse 14 ngokuba uma uthula nokuthula ngalesi sikhathi ukukhululwa nokophulwa kwaba Juda kuyakuvela kwenye indawo wena nendlu kayihlo nibhube ngubani okwaziyo uma ungafikanga embusweni ngenxa yesikhathi esinjengalesi na Then Esther sent this reply to Mordecai go and gather together all the Jews and fast for me do not eat or drink for three days night or day I and my maids will fast as you do when this is done I will go to the king even though it is against the law and if I perish I perish verse 15 O Esther why sesho ukuba kubuyiselwe impendulo ku Mordecai yokuthi hambani nibuthe bonke abajuda abakhona eshushane ningizilele ukudla ningadli ningaphuzi izinsuku ezintathu ubusuku nemini Nami nezintombi zami siyakuzila kanjalo ngingene enkosini noma kunge kungengamthetho uma ngibhubha ma ngibhubhe Esther was a young Jewess U Esther ube intombazanana yomjuda she had been taken to exile together with a lot of other Jews U Esther lo ube thathiwe wayezweni lokuthunjwa ethathwa namanye amajuda And together with her was her cousin Mordecai. Manje kanye naye bekukhona umzala wakhe obizwa ngokuthi u Mordecai. And Mordecai 
took Esther because Esther was an orphan. Her mother and her father had died. Manje umodikai lo wamta to Esther wamba nae, ngoba u Esther benga sana bazali, umawa ke no babu ake besebe shoni. So she was an orphan. Manje ge ubeng lo mundonge na bazali. Young people, we don't know what will happen to us in life. It's possible that there are young people here in the audience. You carry this burden with you. I have no mother and I have no father. But never, never let that cause you to lose hope because God knows what is happening in your life. This story will be especially meaningful to you. This afternoon we heard from Bab Shange how he lost his father at the age of 11. But look how God could use him for our very own country. It might be that you're not an orphan. But you have another challenge. Look at Esther. She was in exile. She wasn't even in her own home country. It could be that you don't come from a very wealthy family. Maybe you're struggling at school. Maybe you feel that life is unfair. Why are things like this in my life? Then this story is for you because with God, there is always hope. If you lift up the name of Jesus, there's no telling what Jesus can't do with you if you allow him. Esther could have stayed there and felt very sorry for herself, felt very rebellious against Mordecai. Why must I live with this person? And she could have been disobedient, she could have been rebellious, but we know she wasn't. From what we read about her life, we know she was obedient and she respected Mordecai. Her name, Esther, actually means star. I don't know what your names are as you are seated here. Some of you maybe I know. 
Jangobanshali nonke la anaza magama we nunonku guti ningo bani genze gabanye ndiabaz. But God knows what your name is, and He knows what He wants you to become. God wa unkulunkulu uya lazika malako forty uya zuguti yiku upi ebe funu guti kuvele ngegogoge kamalako. Now it happened that in the country where they were, Persia, that there was a king called Xerxes. Manje, uma kwa kwenze kukuti ezwe ni lelo ebebe kulo betunje lo glona kwa bekwa kukona inkosi, inkosa bibizwa ngukuti u Xerxes. Zulu, it's a bit different as well. Yes, I look for it. There's a Zulu, Zulu. Yeah. So it's both names are used in the Bible. He had a big banquet. And then he wanted to show off his wife Vashti. And Vashti refused to come. Manja uvestilo wanga vumi ukuza utingosi zobugi sangai. And so she was banished from the country. Manja ngenga eleso zatu wakoshwa zweni wakishwa futeb koskazi. And the king's advisors said, go and look at all the young people in the country, the young girls. Manja inkosi uashi veroshi lo watintela ni pume ni buge zwen longe ni buge amante umbazana. And they took some young girls. They took the beautiful girls. They took the virgins. And amongst that group of girls was Esther. We read in the Bible that she was beautiful and that she was a virgin. And it is such a wonderful thing if there is a young person who is pure and untouched. It is a strength for a young person who can live like that. We might say it's too difficult in the world. We heard this morning what the world is like. But Esther remained pure a virgin, regardless of being in exile and in a country where she had no mother or father. It's such a pity, young girls, that when a girl is beautiful, Sometimes that beauty causes her to do the wrong thing. Pride look at me. I'm so beautiful. I gaje I pagamisa kenye awuge minandi mushe. But there's not one thing that you did to make yourself what you are. God created you. Don't abuse that which God gave you. Because God has blessed you, don't use it to live an evil life. 
and all the beautiful girls came before the king. And Mordecai had said to Esther before she went, Don't tell them that you're a Jew. Manja umodikai ubem jali lu ester enga ka yugi obo naga la pam wenko si wati unga bache lugutwe no umjuta. But don't forget that you are Jew. Unga bache lugutu umjuta kotwa we na unga kos lugutu umjuta. And Esther was chosen then to be king. Manja ester wake to guti abe inzo fugas. Esther could have become so proud that she was now queen, she was in the palace, she was the most beautiful girl. Manje u Esther lo ebe benga vela matuba maningu kuti alkenye alpagamise ukuti minandi mushe futi ni umjuda kutwa nagu nketi ukuti nbe njofugazi futi ni seskotwa nsengos. She even, if we read in the Bible, had servants, her own many servants. But she did not forget. She's a child of the living God. If God gives you a position, if God chooses you, you are still not your own. You belong to the living God. Uma unkulunkulu aku negis kunjas tilem biluin. Umunkulunkulu eketa unga kos to gutu wena awe no wak o kotungo gangkulunku. Maybe you did well at school. Shambi futu en zagasha skole no pasagasha. Maybe at university. Mshambi futi a university lau kona. Maybe in your workplace. Mshambi em seven zino seven zayu seven zagasha. God has blessed you. Unkulunkulu busi si. Give that blessing back to God and say, God, I'm here for you, not for myself. Now her cousin Mordecai would go and sit outside the palace gate. Manje umodekai lo ongumzala wake u Esther ube asale ngapanze kwe sango le le skoso sengos. And while he sat there, he wanted to see is Esther alright? Is she still trusting God? Is she still serving God even though she's got one of the highest positions any woman could have in the country? Manje ekzale nguwa kumoti kai nga panze kwe sango. Ube shupege epege uguti. Ingabu Esther usam konza yu nkulunkulo pilayo. Ingabu Esther aga tatanga yini ifundiso no konzo nkulunkulo baleli suwe sku. Young people, do you know how often your parents maybe don't sit at the gate at school or where you work, but in their heart, they carry you. And they say, oh God, that young boy of mine, keep him, keep him from alcohol, keep him from drugs, keep him from immorality. Niyazi yii ni bandwa basha, uguti abazali benu basu pege ganga ganani. Noma benge sale sangwe nila se skoleni. Kodwa nge skati wenu se skoleni ula ukona. Na angu mzalu waku shupegi luti au nkulunkulu wame. Au sizi ngani ya musizu mfana wame. Mti nengo sangange no puzwe no luna manjo chwa leni. Mti nangange ni futi ema dragzini. Mti nengo sangange ni mpilo eni onga spatigashi. Could it be that you think... I don't care anymore what my parents taught me. I want to live my life. Kunganze kukutuwe na usana ndaba, utifuta nanda, kukutaba zalba nifundi se ini, kwa nanta ndugu zipile la njimpilu wendi iketi. I'm now educated. Kutanja nga manja sa nifundi ile. Not so long ago, a mother spoke to me. Kunga kudala iskati ya sruli ile konu mamu wakuluma nami. She was weeping. Lo mamu bekala. She could hardly speak. She was weeping so much. And she said, I don't know what to do. I have three daughters. I've raised them to serve God. I've worked hard. 
in whatever way I can to get them through school, and now one is studying after school. Oti ni sebenza nga manja wonke ndi nao na sebenza ganzima. Oguti laba bandwe na bambagwa zukufunda manje omunye aga seko skole. She's now at college. Oh, okay. Wabesa ti omunye njenga manju se pasile skole ni usese college. But that young girl said to her mother. Kotwa loosa se college wabesa siti kuma wake. Mother, the money you give me is not enough. Oti loosa college ma imalo niga yona aisenele. And somebody's advised me that if I go and sell my body, I'll get more money. And also, if I take drugs from there to there, they'll pay me a lot of money. Then you won't need to work anymore, mother. I'll get my money from being caught in drugs and selling my body. Manje, iti lento meza na kuma wake, futi ukono one lule gile, ukutuma ndiyo daisu mzimba, besa ndaisa itaka mizwa ndi izi tenge, lenga hapa, ndizu otenga hapa, ndiyo izi daisa ngapa, zoba ne male ningi, uti futi wena ma wami, ausu tingu basa sabenza ngupen, zoba ne male ya ne. Young people, do you know that God has a vessel in which the tears of your parents go, and those tears will judge you if you hurt your parents by forsaking what they have taught you. Bantwa basha ingaba niyazi yini uguti unkulungulu unesicha lesi sicha njalu mukalisu mzalu wako inyembe zazi kala ya uzingena gu lesi sicha unkulungulu zo sebenzi sa lesi inyembe zi ugwe shule la wena. So there's Mordecai sitting at the gate praying for Esther in the palace. Manja ke naku Mordecai uhlele sangweni ukhulekela u Esther u Esther eso sigodlweni senkosi. And one day while he was sitting there, ngenye langa la esahleli la esangweni, he heard two people planning to kill the king. Wezwe abantu ababini ebebesenza itulo lokubulala inkosi. And he went and reported it. Wabesa amba eyokubika lokho. He was a faithful man. Even though it wasn't his own country. He didn't want the king to be murdered. There were other officials in the country besides the king. And one of them was a man by the name of Haman. Manje omunye wabo ebebizo ngoguti uhaman. Now Haman actually was a descendant of King Agag. Manje unahamani lo oksempeleni ubesi sise zugulwa neni senkoswa uagag. Agag was the king that Saul was meant to kill and he never killed. Manje lo agagi lo ube inkosi leyo ebe gumelu guti usauli abulawe kotwa agabula wanga. He was the king of the Amalekites. Ube ngu inkosi ama amaleki. So Haman came from that line of people who did not like God's people, the Jewish nation. Manje uamani lo ube ngu mdobe vela guleso suguluana ebe singabatanda bandu baga ngulu ngulu. And he was an official in this country. Manje guleli zwege ube omunye wei kulu. And he would walk through the streets of the city. Manje guleli zwege ube omunye wei kulu. Manje guleli zwege ube omunye wei kulu. Manje guleli zwege ube omunye wei kulu. And wherever he went, everybody had to bow down and worship him. And there was Mordecai at the gate. And everybody bowed down to Mordecai. Haman, and then Mordecai didn't. And this made Haman furious. Manje logu kwa mtasu uluhaman. 
He wanted to get rid of Mordecai. He went home. Told his ma- his wife and his friends. I want to get rid of Mordecai. I hate him. He makes me angry. And so they gave him advice. They said, build some gallows. Where you hang people. What kind of friends do you have? When you hate somebody, do you go and plan evil? against that person that you hate with your friends. But that gallows wasn't enough because he didn't know how do I get Mordecai to hang there? He didn't know how, how will I get Mordecai there so that he's hanged. Okay. And they said, you know what? We must get rid of the Jews, God's people in this country. And so Haman went to the king. And Haman said to the king, There's some people in this country. These people, they are going to cause your downfall. They don't obey the king's laws. I'll give you 10,000 talents of silver and you make a law to destroy these people. And the king said, keep your money, I'll make the law. And he had a ring, a big seal, that he would seal the law with. And young people, we must know there are those who hate God's children. They will bring in laws to harm God's children. They will put their signatures to laws that give people permission to kill babies. They will put signatures to laws that will allow men to abuse women. And if we're not careful, they will allow people to hurt children. Why? Because they hate the name of Jesus. They hate you and me because we love Jesus. And here was a king who passed a law that would cause the death of God's people. And so the law was passed that on a certain day, all the Jews, young and old, 
would be killed. Manje nangu ke lo miyale lo usupasi siwa wakri ya krivi zinkosi. Umiyale lo uti bonke abagwa juta baso bulawo. People read the notice. Abandu bafunda lo migo ba uzwa. And they wept. Bakala. What will we do? Bati si zogwe nzenjani. Mordecai heard it. Umodekai waguzwa logo. He went to Esther and he said, Esther, this is what the king is doing. Wabe ubasa guzwe lu Mordecai wabige lu Esther. What Esther? Na wingo sa gwenzayo. And we come to the verse that we read at the beginning. Leli vesa zilfundi leli suga lapo gisvesa sifinyele la glona. Mordecai said, Esther, this is what is happening. And Esther said, what can I do? I haven't gone before the king. I can't just go to the king and talk to the king. Nobody's allowed to come before the king and just walk into his throne room. If you go in and the king doesn't hold out his scepter, you are killed immediately. If I just go in and the king hasn't called me, and he doesn't hold out his scepter, I'll be killed. And Mordecai said, if you remain silent now, God can help his people, but don't think that you will escape. And who knows but that you have come to royal position for such a time as this. Young people, it's not a mistake that you are here now to hear the message that you and you and you and all of us must lift up the name of Jesus in our country at this time. Esther, listen to this. And she said, All right, I'll do it. I'll go before the king. And if I die, I die. But I will do it. O Esther wa utola lombi kwa ulalela. Uma sa ulalela ilo wabu isi mpendulo. Wati kulungi ile. Nizo ya pamu kwa nkulungu. Nizo ya pamu kwa nkose. Uma kunga nisifa kungono nbube. And that is what Mordecai said. You cannot remain silent. God has chosen you. For such a time as this. Nang amaz we ashwang modi kaiku estel. Oti awkwa zugu tula. Goba umkulunkulu uketewe na e ketelis katas in jengalis. Young person, God has chosen you in the school that you go to at this time to lift up his name. Mundo musha umkulunkulu ketewe na eskole la ufunda kona. Ugo teskatines jengalesi. God has chosen you as a teacher to teach at the school where you are teaching to lift up his name even at such a time as this. God has chosen you in the family 
in which he has put you to lift up his name. We must not think that just because we serve Jesus, everybody will like it. Esther knew her life was in danger. And Esther put her God and God's people first and said, even if I perish, I will perish, but I'll do the right thing. She said, please, Mordecai, I will pray and fast for three days, and you do it. Please pray for me that God will be gracious. If we want to lift up the name of Jesus, we need to be able to pray and say, Jesus, be with me. I don't doubt that Esther also wanted to hear God's voice. How must I do this? What plan can you give me? God gave her plan. plan. And she got up the one morning and she went before the king. And the king handed out his scepter. You can see in the picture she had to touch it before she spoke. And Esther had her plan from God. God can give you and I a plan when his name is threatened when there are laws that want to destroy the ways of God. And all she said to the king that day, I'm inviting you to a meal. And when you come to the meal, come with Haman. Haman was her greatest enemy. He hated the Jews. So Haman and the king only those two came and Esther served them. Now, can you imagine how much prouder Haman was? He even went to his family and told them, I have been invited with the king to eat at the queen's table. Puma a strange thing happened that night. While Haman was boasting, here's the king gone to bed. And he couldn't sleep. He couldn't sleep. 
And he said, bring something to read to me. And they brought the story of Mordecai. When Mordecai reported the two people who wanted to kill the king. And the next day when Haman came before the king again, the king says to Haman, how must I honor a person who has helped me? And Haman thought it was himself. And he said, let's put them on the king's robe on a horse and take him through the city and say, this is what happens to a man whom the king honors. And Haman thought, I'm going to go through the city and everybody's going to bow down and praise me. And the king said, Haman, you do that to Mordecai. And there was Haman taking his enemy through the town, praising him. And that is how God works. If you lift up Jesus higher. Mordecai was faithful. Esther was faithful. And God stood on their side. God wasn't finished yet though. Never go against God. Never go against people who serve God. Your end will be an end like Haman. Because the next thing is Haman and the king went to have a meal with Esther again. And the queen told the king, there's somebody who wants to kill my people. And the king said, who is that? And the queen pointed at Haman. The queen pointed at Haman. And said, Haman is the one who wants to kill my people who serve my God. And the king realized that Haman had tricked him into making a law to kill the Jews. And he stood up in a rage and went out the room. He was so angry. And Haman went to the queen and held on to her gown and said, please, Please, I'm sorry, help me. And the king walked in. And Haman was touching his wife. 
Manje uma sai pumili nkosi ya bashi u Esther no haman bobabini. Usi asoku haman eo zngengele nfofgazini. Wabambele lagwe watin elu nsize. Sindi su pila guam. Iyabu yi nkosi ingena na nanku hamani uutinda nfofgaz. Haman was hanged on the very gallows he had built for Mordecai. Manje u hamani lo. Wapanye kwa kuo na lomu uti, owa iwe nzele uguti agapanye kuo umodikai. And the king said that the Jews can fight on the day that this would happen. Manje futi nko siyati aba kwa chute, balvunye luguti balwe, nishunga leo mini leo ndi senze. So on the day that the Jews were to be killed, they were able to protect themselves. Manje nga lolo sugu ebebezo bulawa nga yoba kwa chuta bagu wa zuguti baivigel. And they fought and they protected themselves. Balwa baivigel. That day was a great victory for them. Nga lolo sugu kwa ba umu bo kulu kubona. God can choose you to be an Esther in this time in which we live. Umkulunkulu anga keta wena uguti ube ngu esteri ulesis kates njenga lesis pilakson. She didn't only help the person who had helped her when she was orphaned, but she served her God and God's nation. Aga siza nga nje ukuthi abuyiselu sizo kulo mtu wamsiza ngenxa ubebe ebe intandane kodwa uye wakhonza uNkulunkulu uNkulunkulu okwazi lokusindi sisizwe sonke She was true to her God Waba neqiniso kuNkulunkulu wakhe She was a pure girl respectful obedient futhi ube intombi emsulwa intombi ehlonipayo nelalelayo young girls can have courage if they walk with god amantomba zanyana samancane angaba nesibindi eme uma ngabe hamba nonkulunkulu all the young girls here who will say i will not go the way of the world even if people laugh at me even if people mock me I am going to remain pure. Ingaba kona yini la manto mazana kona la ati nizo manges bindi gaga nizi ambinze la zezo kutoa nizo melungu lungu ulu nisho nomi zueli nchega kutoa nizo man melungu lungu. God has chosen us at a time like this to lift up His name. Unkulunkulu skati leti na e katines jenga lezi uguti simele spaga misika malika chiz. Let's cleanse ourselves. Purify ourselves that God can use young and old. As is Sambulu, Les is in release, Ugozun Kulunkulu Aguaz, Uxaben Zangati, Asaben Zi Omu Shanum Dan. We can change the face of South Africa with the God whom we serve. Wonkulunkulasim Konza was like Kuku Liningism Africa. Imagine if these. Things that are happening in the world, evil could be stopped because you and I say, I will do it. If I perish, I perish. Niabona yinu kuti lezi zindua ezi imbeze nzega na izwe nilagiti. Umangaba mina nawe, esi singe masiti nizo melu chesu. Nisho noma nipupa kuhu ngono nipupe kutuwa nizo ma. Singa kukuli South Africa na lezi zindua ezi nzega yo, zinga ngamuga. Jesus did so much for us. Can't we do something for him? Do we understand what he has done for us? If we really understood his love, we would be prepared to say, if I perish, I perish. Uma besi nga kondu tando lwa ke lwa lwa kwa senzele kona. Si nga kwa zuku mange sbindi si shonati la mazwi. Uti niso melu chesu uma nipupa ngono nipupe. In closing, I want to tell a story about a young man. Pete ni ntando kwa nkotla linda bange nzizwa etile. He had a dream. Nzizwa yaba nepupo. He dreamt he was in a room like this. 
All along the walls of the room were files with pieces of paper in the files. Manja And he thought, what is this room full of? And he went and he wanted to open one of the drawers. And on the drawer was written, Friends I have had and what we talked about. Manja uma evula it pepper awal tola, watola li baliwe, uguti abangani en genda banabo, di shonen kuluma ebesi kuluma nab. And he looked at the papers, they were all filed like this, one after the other, the names of his friends and what they had talked about. Manja umangaba ebuga la eshalufini, ewabuga la ma pepa ebe pagtagi shwegate, futi ebali we ika maneka malumganwake, nezin doba ikuluma na banga numganwake. And he thought, but I don't want anybody to read this. We spoke dirty things. Uti lo 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 mundia push and lake, what abang wood and funi no ye to onga funda logo, gobasas kulumis doing no li. He thought, who knows this? Why is it all recorded here? And he went to another drawer. Books I have read. And he saw all the books and the pictures in the books that he had looked at. And the terrible descriptions of explicit things that he had read. He shuddered. He didn't want to remember what he had looked at. He went and opened another shelf. Lies I have told. From when he was a little boy. All the the lies he had ever told were written there and recorded. The next drawer, bad jokes I have told and laughed at. Another drawer had things I have done in angry anger. Manju me vula fotel shalini shaluf liti pepal funda lapo uti izindo ena zenzanges cutting asugilen tungu ten. Maybe he read I kicked my brother. Mthambi wafu wafunda uguti ndabula lumfoetu. I hurt my mother. I was angry with her. I fisted somebody at school. Anger can make one do terrible things. Things I have muttered at my parents. Muttering is when the parents are over there and you say things quietly. Maybe a mother sends you and you say, Oh, Gafa Webant, long it to a ginger. Isn't do I kuluma? I ain't go baby fungu kuluma, ebis kuluma nabo, or do I kuluma nabo bebute, or do I go on the segubo, umzega long, a lesser scatty umzali, em two mam shambi, Valogo as when a full look to you, Atiko to anafang manja, Lutuma minanjalo, Wenza logo, logo umsodum zaluag. He looked, and the whole room was full of one 
drawer after the other of everything he had ever done. Manja umebuga inzu yonke unamashalu fume vulishalu fubona in to nentu agewa yenza. Times I fought with my brother and sister. Another one was bad lyrics I have listened to, songs, bad songs I've listened to. Another one, lustful thoughts and feelings I have had. He was so troubled, he thought, what can I do? Can I destroy this? Is there nothing good I have done? Another one said things I have stolen. All the things from the sugar when he was a little boy. Anyone thought let me pull it out I'll pull them out and I'll tear up the papers He tried he tried to tear it it would not tear he tried to push the cupboard over. He held his head and he thought, what if somebody comes in and reads everything I have ever, ever done? He began to tremble. What am I going to do about my sins? And then he saw a drawer. And in the drawer, a drawer. And he thought, this looks better. And the title was People I Have Shared the Gospel With. And he, and he looked at the papers. They were nearly all empty. He had been ashamed to lift Jesus higher. He held his head and he wept, what am I going to do? I've called myself a Christian, but here are all my sins. And as he was holding his head, he saw somebody's coming into this room. And he thought, no, I don't want anybody in this room to see what I've done. And as the person came in, he saw, it's Jesus. He and he thought that Jesus cannot see what I've done. Jesus went to the shelf. He ran and he tried to stop Jesus from opening the shelf. He was ashamed of what he had done. He was ashamed of the life he had lived. And he went on his knees and he said, I'm so sorry, Jesus. 
Wawanga mato lo wati ni akoli sango sujesu. These are my sins. Wati na zizo noza. I haven't lifted you higher. Wati jesu andi paga misanga andi paga miseli pezu. I'm a sinner. Futi ni iso. I've hurt you. Futi ni kilimazi. I've hurt many, many people. Ati futi ni kilimazi labando abani. Jesus knelt down next to him. Unko su jesu ya kukanga mato le tuze kwa ke. And he lifted him up. And he took out the shelf. And he took his blood. And he wiped away. He wiped away page after page of these sins. And he wiped away page after page And the young man kept saying, Forgive me, Jesus. Forgive me for this. Forgive me for that. Then says, Why, yes, I go you, Jesu, yet a pepper, and a pepper, I think, goes and see, didn't call a little log, wouldn't call a little. Young people, this is what Jesus has done for us. Manja bandra basha, ye log, which is what sends a leg on. If we come to him with our sin, Oma says, I go ye, Nezo no say, then. We can truly know his work is finished. It's complete in our lives. Singa konda sazika shengo kwe kini so ugotum sevens wake upeleli siwe ufezi wezbirinzi. And we will be willing to say, I will live for him now in the time in which I live. Like Esther did in her time. Ukuze sikwazu kushonge spindi. Siti niso kwazu kuti nimpile lu chesu nimpaga mise. Nimpile le nimele nisho skatine sijenga lese spila guso. Jongo bu Esther went. And if I perish for Jesus, I perish for Jesus. Because he has done so much for me. Uma kutenga nbupe nge nga ka chesu. Kuzi nga nogo nukuti nbupe ngoba u chesu unenze lo ku. If your life is not clean, uma impilo yako inga shanzegile. Come to him. Oza kuyen. Confess your sin. Vumi zono zako. He can wash it away. Awe yako anga kwa zo kui shanza. And you too can become an Esther that God can use in your family, your school, the workplace, in the whole of South Africa. Uma wenze njalo ungafana na USA ukuthi ukwazi akwazi uNkulunkulu ukuthi akusebenzise esikoleni la ukhona emsebenzini la usebenza khona kodwa asebenzise wena ukuthi uphakame isigama lakho siyabonga Thank you very much, Ms. Newland. So we'll close in prayer now. Those who would like to stay behind for prayer are welcome to do so. And um, those children, please let's... Those who are leaving, let's give the older people time to leave first. And uh, we please leave orderly and please do not run. Walk, walk out of the auditorium. Shall we pray? As standards. Lord, we heard this evening, give us grace that you will not pass us by. You gave us a special message this evening. Please give us grace to embrace it. We ask this that your name may be lifted up in each of our lives. 
Sikela Lokungo Suguzeika Malako Liparani so in Billions. Amen. Amen. Yeah, the answer.